Webflow Freelance Tutorial – How to use Webflow for Freelancers Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily build our first website using Webflow so it's easy to start, this platform is really friendly for new users so let's get started so here we are on webflow.com and as you can see in top of the screen we have like products solutions sources and enterprise folders and also of course like pricing we'll discover them a little bit later but don't worry they provide us the opportunities to start for free so we can simply click on start building or get started so we'll come to this page where we'll have to create an account we can use our email address or we can simply continue with Gmail. So in this case, I'm going to continue with Gmail. As for me, this is the most suitable. And here we are on our home page where we can manage all of our sites we already have. On the dashboard area, we can see all of our sites basically. We can just click on more. We can delete, duplicate, move to folder, share, go to editor or manage some settings. So let's delete one of my websites to create it from scratch. And in this case, as you can see, it's pretty easy to understand. On the marketplace, we can find a lot of overview, libraries, templates, hire an expert and made in Webflow. Also, there is like different tutorials on learn folder and resources. And in the right side, there is like public profile folder, profile settings, workspace, updates and sign out. From the profile settings, we can manage all of our billings and some payments. So in order to create a website, we just simply need to find a new side button in the right side of the dashboard. And here we are, as you can see, we have the opportunity to create a website from scratch from clicking on this button here. So blank side is just side from scratch. Also, we have like some templates for portfolio, business and store. They called like portfolio, business and store starters. But in this case, we are going to customize existing templates. So if we we'll scroll down for a little, we can find different templates right up here. As you can see, they are not free, like $34, $79, $129, 79 And we can view a lot of different templates here. As you can see, all of them are not free. But if we we'll scroll down a little bit more, we can find free templates area where we can find not bad templates we can easily use like for small businesses learning blog category photography and so on moreover if you'll click on view all in the right side will come to free website templates and as you can see there are a lot of them in the different categories so we can for example go to design area here we will switch basically to the paid area so we need to find it from the page which is like from these uh, link here. So as you can see there are a lot of different categories like for learning, small businesses, restaurant, fashion, retail, retail, fitness, business, business, portfolio and so on. So uh, I suggest you to try a free template and uh, then you can easily decide is it like suitable, is it easy for you to use Webflow. So try to find a suitable one as for you from these templates. So in this case I'm going to use this one, Momentum Templates, I'll click on it and we'll come to the preview of the template. We can easily preview it in browser if you'll click. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So that not that bad at all. So let's click on use for free and we'll add it to our dashboard. And to start working, we just simply need to add the name of the website. So I'm just going to use this one. So I'll just go, going to click on create a site. And in a few seconds, we'll come to our like workspace where we can manage and edit all of the parts. So our website looks like this. As you can see, every element is customizable. So you can just simply hover and then just change it. In the top of the screen, we can change the view to view how does it looks like in different devices. As you can see, it's like totally responsive for all the devices. And it's pretty cool that the flow uh, templates are you know, organized to make them uh, really responsive. So let's go back. And as you can see in the left side, wait a sec, in the left side, there is like option to deal with our elements. So we can add different elements. If you'll click on this plus button, we can add different section, container, grid, different basic elements like divs, list, list item, buttons, link block, and so on like heading, paragraph. We can also add media from here, our images, video, YouTube, uh, add different forms, form block, label, input, checkbox, text area, select, and so on. Also, there is like advanced options to add background video, drop down, 
Lightbox, Navbar, Toolbar, and so on, like the different social medias. Uh, from the navigator, we can manage the structure of our website. So as you can see, the structure looks like this. We can open every single element, make it like a toggle list, and then just manage. Sometimes it could be helpful if you are going to optimize the structure of your a website. On the page folder we can switch between different pages as you can see from the home page to the image licensing and so on. So uh, we can manage the structure here and add new pages of course. And we can also add like different users. If you click on users area we can add them and they'll be able to edit it with us. And from the store area we can add different products, categories, basically it's available for online store templates. And to customize any single part, all we need is just to simply select it and after that, for example, for this text, we can easily customize every single part. So we can just simply select, make it bold, italic, but mostly properties are in the right side menu right up here. So as you can see, there is like different stuff. We can change easily, change the color, change some other stuff. So if you're going to change the alignment, we can just simply click, go to spacing, change the spacing or do some other stuff. So all you need to do is just to try it by yourself. Every single element here is like, uh, has a lot of different properties according to the position, to the size and so on. So in order to publish our website, we just simply need to click on publish in the right top corner here. And they provide us the opportunity to use the free domain with webflow.io subdomain, or we can use custom domain right up here. So let's click on publish to selected domains. And in a few seconds, we'll publish our first website together. So as you can see, it was successfully published and now it's available with this link here. And if we'll go back to dashboard, we can easily find it right up there. And we can interact, we can go to settings, for example, and from this page, we can easily deal with members, publishing plans and billings, different CEO options uh, for optimizing and so on. So we can go back to editor and basically these are the ways of how can we interact with uh, like this website. If you'll try to discover their prices, we can find that they have like three plan, basic $40 per month, same as $20 per month, business $39, and there is like differences here. Each of uh, paid plans has the custom domain option, and there is like also differences between CMS items, monthly form submissions, bandwidth, and so on. So you can try it for free, and after that you can easily decide is it usable for you to continue working with Webflow as a freelancer. So this is a way of how can we use Webflow for freelancers. Hope guys this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.